Hey everybody, how's it going? Looks like no matter the bike that I'm building, when it comes to wheels, I'm always going back to DT Swiss as their wheels are good bang for the buck. This time I am building a cross or gravel bike and I chose to go with the DT Swiss C1800 wheels. Let's take a closer look at them. In the past, you guys have seen me looking at the mountain biking series from DT Swiss, but these Spline C1800 are meant to be used for cyclocross, gravel, or even road. I have to admit that I'm not too crazy about that white branding that's on these rims pretty much everywhere. However, if you look here next to the valve, you're gonna see that these rims are 22 millimeter ID, so internal dimension. And here on these two stickers, left and right, DT Swiss provides us with a recommended minimum and maximum tire width, 25 minimum, 64 millimeter max. That's kind of crazy. That's like a 2.4 tire. Also here where it says tubeless, you see their maximum recommended pressure. And on the other label, you're gonna see the maximum recommended pressure if you were to run these with tubes. And height of the rim is 23 millimeters. Definitely not great for road aerodynamics, but perfectly fine for gravel or cross. Otherwise, the finish of the rim seems to be high quality. These are sleeved rims. You can see that line over here. So they're not welded. And you're gonna get these wheels with 24 spokes. These are bladed spokes, believe it or not. And you're gonna have aluminum nipples and the hubs that they use for these wheels are DT370 or a version of that. And if the branding on the rims seems to be painted here on the hubs, these are decals. So if you want to peel this off, I guess you could do it. You can see spline over there and you can see these are straight pull spokes. Again, 24 spokes on this wheel sets. DT Swiss is gonna mention center lock slash six bolt in the specs. That's because they include these adapters. So this is a center lock to six bolt adapter for your rotor. Otherwise, as you see here, the hubs are actually Shimano center lock. You get that little user information attached to your spokes. Not a whole lot to see there. And the rims come pre-taped. I already mentioned that these are 22 millimeter ID and you can see that little hook here because hookless rims are not that popular yet with a gravel or road crowd. Not only that the rims are taped, but you're also getting a couple of valves. So if you want to run this tubeless, you can do it right away. These are through axle hubs. So 12 by 142 rear. 12 by 100 millimeter front and interestingly DT Swiss included in the box a couple of adapters the first one is 15 millimeter front axle adapters and the second one it's going to be QR adapters for that front wheel as well nothing for the rear axle from what I can tell however these end caps can be easily replaced with QR if I'm not mistaken Free hub options are Shimano Splined, you see it here, 11 speed road or SRAM XDR. On this, you can install pretty much 8, 9, 10, 11 speed from Shimano, no problem. And remember, this is the road standard, so the free hub body is a bit longer. I'm gonna have Shimano GRX installed on these, so this is pretty much a mountain biking cassette. 1142 so i'm gonna need a little spacer here that's a like a two millimeter spacer that you need on this free hub to make it work interestingly dt swiss doesn't include that little spacer even though they gave me all the adapters for that uh, front wheel and i mentioned that the hubs are 370s even though that's not mentioned anywhere and that means no ratchet in here instead you have the three pole system as usual with dt swiss you can remove the free hub without tools and you see that red grease that they've used even with this three pole system which by the way provides you with 24 clicks or 15 degrees of engagement. This is a Shimano Spline free hub from a mountain bike uh, wheel set. And if I put the free hubs side by side, you can see how the mountain biking one is just slightly shorter than the one that says uh, 11 speed road. So this will be compatible with any 370 free hubs from DT Swiss, whether they're mountain biking or in this case road. 
Weight of this aluminum wheel set is not too bad either. You can see that front wheel at 824 grams. A rear wheel is at 953 grams. So for the wheel set, we're looking at 1777 grams. Not too, too bad for an aluminum budget friendly wheel set. So what kind of wheels are you guys using for your cycle cross or a gravel rig? Do you use something like this, a budget aluminum from DT Swiss or something fancier? Let me know in the comments below. This is gonna be my beater wheel set for the Trek Crockett that I'm building right now. I hope you guys found this useful and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And until next time, hope to see you on the trails guys. Cheers.